Hey guys, it's Aton. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are making a super Instagrammable breakfast, avocado toast. It is super easy to make and it is just like the ultimate breakfast. It combines all things I love. Bread, avocados, beautiful heirloom tomatoes, just all those things. To start, right over here, I have a loaf of some beautiful sourdough bread. If you can get your hands on this, totally worth it. It is just amazing. So you just wanna get some nice slices. So cut off the end. Let's get that end piece off. As you can see, whenever you're cutting a really thick type of bread, it's important to use a serrated knife um, and then use a back and forth motion to cut it. Ooh, this one's really, it's a hard crust at the bottom. All right, there we go, perfect. As you can see, I have these now two nice slices of bread that are about half an inch thick, which is just what you want. Now, over here on the stove top, let's preheat our pan on a nice medium high heat. And to this, we're gonna add in some extra virgin olive oil. Let's get a nice amount of that in there. All right, perfect. Make sure it gets nicely coated throughout. Let's let that heat up for about 30 seconds till it gets nice and hot. All right, I think that is good. Now we're gonna put our bread on here. All right, this looks great. The reason why we're doing this is it is gonna give us a nice crunchy exterior on the bread to put our avocado on top. So speaking of avocado, right over here I have a nice avocado and the trick to opening it is you wanna make a cut around it like this. There we go. And then you're gonna do the twist and then you hope that it is gonna be good. Perfect avocado. Got a spoon and we're just gonna to wanna to spoon this into our bowl. All right, let's see, that looks good. Now, we're going to take a fork. Before you mash it up, you wanna add in a little bit of some lemon or lime juice just to kind of keep um, the green color um, so it doesn't start to brown early. And you're just gonna kinda of wanna smash it up lightly with a fork. All right, this is looking good. As you see, we still have that like chunkiness in there, but also nice and smooth. I like the contrast of the different like smoothness and chunkiness of the avocado. Now let's flip over our bread. Oh, that looks perfect, nice and crunchy. Ooh, great. Now, meanwhile, while that's cooking on the other side, let's start on our quick grape tomato heirloom salsa. Let's grab a bowl. Right over here, I have some beautiful heirloom grape tomatoes. If you can find these in the summertime or springtime, they seriously just add tons of great color, flavor, texture, all those great things to any dish. So we're just gonna wanna cut them in half. And what's great about the heirloom tomatoes is they don't all look the same. You know, in nature, things grow all different shapes and colors. Here's like a purple, purple tomato, so we can do that too. Look at this, like cool, I don't know. They just, they come in tons of cool colors and cut them in all different ways. Sometimes I cut them down like this, cut some like this. The more ways and like textures and colors, the better. And meanwhile, let's check on our bread. That looks good. Almost ready. And then actually a little bit more olive oil into there. Then let's keep on cutting the tomatoes. To this, we're also gonna add in a little bit of parsley that we're just gonna chop up. All right, let's add that into our bowl. Let's add in a little bit of lemon juice into there. Let's add a touch of olive oil and let's give that a good mix up. Also, can't forget a little bit of pepper, a nice pinch of salt. Don't you just love all those colors? I mean, this is what you want. Let's set that aside and our bread has finished browning in here. You see that it got nice and golden brown exterior. Let's place that on our plate. And then in the same pan, we are going to fry up some eggs to put on top of our avocado toast. Now in here, we're gonna raise the heat and we're gonna use some olive oil in there. Now to this, we're gonna crack in two eggs straight into the oil over there. Let's crack another. and we let those fry off for a few minutes. All right, our eggs are getting nice fried and puffy. And one thing you wanna do when you're frying eggs to make sure that your yolk gets cooked is you're gonna wanna take a spoon and kind of spoon over the egg, all of that hot oil, so you're cooking it from the bottom and from the top. It will sputter a lot of oil, so you definitely wanna stand back while you're doing this, so be very careful, but it's gonna come out with the best egg, so it's totally worth it. We have our plate over here, let's spoon on 
some of this gorgeous grape tomato salad all on there. All right, those are looking good. Let's turn off the flame and then onto our bread. We are going to put the avocado that we mashed up earlier. And as you can see, it has not browned yet because we added in that extra lemon juice, which kind of lets it, gives it more of a shelf life, if you want to say. I mean, it's not really on the shelf because you're going to want to eat it right away. So let's spread this around on there. Ooh, this is looking good. All right, that's nice and spread around. Our eggs are finished cooking. Let's get our spatula straight onto our avocado toast. All right, there we go. And on to the other piece. Now, it is almost done. The last thing that you gotta do is hit it with a little bit of freshly ground pepper, a nice pinch of kosher salt, plus a little pinch of some of those red chili flakes for that pop of color and flavor. And there you go. That is how easy it is to make a super Instagrammable and delicious breakfast. Avocado toast with a fried egg on top and an heirloom tomato salsa. This looks absolutely delicious. All right, there's just one last thing left to do. It is time to dig in. Let's get a nice big bite of that. Oh my gosh, just look at that. All right, let's go. Mm. Wow. Wow, that just hits you with tons of amazing flavor and texture. You have the crispy bread on the bottom, the creamy avocado, the runny yolk, the salt, the pepper, the red chili flakes, the lemon juice. It just all comes together into one amazing breakfast that you're gonna wanna eat every morning. If you do, the link to the recipes in the description box below. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for tons of more awesome cooking videos. All right, I'm gonna go finish eating this and probably post a picture of it on Instagram. Bye.